upgraded the toothbrushes. New toothbrush. <laughs> and all the other goodies. Snacks, swim nappies. Lucky, We're loaded up. Lucky, lucky babies. Hey guys, you ready to head home? Lunch times. Lunch times. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are trying to figure out how to juggle work life, mum life, all of those things, come along and hang out with me in today's vlog because I'm going to be sharing how I am trying to do exactly the same. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name's Elle and today I want to share a day in the life with our twins, Revy and Rue, who are 11 months old. I want to show you kind of what a day in the life looks like for me. I work from home, I'm self-employed and I'm trying my best to juggle work life, mum life, everything. It's a struggle. Every day it's a struggle and it's a juggle. And I figured, why not bring you along and show you the craziness? This morning my sister came over uh, to visit the twins, which was so nice. We went out to a cafe, got some coffee, and I did need to step away from the house for a little bit because this morning the twins both got into nappy rash cream and they were coated in it. I had the camera like all ready to start filming this vlog, but it was that hectic that I just, I didn't. I didn't start until we've gotten, like, we got out of the house and <laughs> that's how we kind of started our day. But anyway, I've got their bottles. We've had lunch now that we're back and I'm literally hiding from the babies because they're currently at the stage where when they see me, they can freak out, especially Revy. So the Wiggles is doing the most right now, screen time. <laughs> screen time is helping me out, but my plan is to try to get them both down for a nap because they didn't do their morning nap, but let me update you on their routine at the moment. This is where we're currently at with their routine. Thereabouts, I kind of showed this on another video that we don't adhere to it perfectly. The babies are waking up earlier than 7 a.m. at the moment, so they were up this morning at like 6.30, so not too bad. Um, this didn't happen. The morning nap never happened. Sometimes they nap in their stroller, today they didn't, so we're rolling with it. We are here right now, trying to do this. And then I'm gonna get them down for a nap, hopefully even sooner. It's almost 12 o'clock, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. And then if they can do this, this big nap would be a dream because I have so much work to do, but that's just always the case. There's always like work to do. Um, things just don't stop, do they? So anyway, I'm hoping that they sleep, but we'll see. Here they are. Hello, Rue. Hi, buddy. Hi, baby girl. How you doing? Are you loving the wiggles? This is our decoy remote. It's actually like an old remote for a TV that we don't have anymore. That doesn't work. Oh, excuse me. You be gentle. Yeah, so that's Rue's decoy remote because you like a remote. You like technology, don't you? Yeah, you like technology so much. What a banger. Oh my gosh. It like, it kills me when they cry. When I put them down, it kills me. It kills me, it kills me, I hate it. Oh, 11 months and I still hate it. But let's see, I think Rue is already asleep on the monitor. He's so tired. He always sleeps with his bunny like over his eyes. It's so cute. I like to have a sleep, uh, like an eye mask, so I don't know if it's kind of like his version of an eye mask. We separate the twins during the day now. Revy sleeps in the spare room in the slumber pod because the two of them don't, well, yeah, anyway, they just have like different sleeping habits. So now is when the fun begins. I might have 30 minutes, I might have an hour, I might have two hours, I might have three hours. Probably not three hours, but um, that's kind of, hopefully, two and a half hours. That would be amazing. 1.09 p.m. So let's see what they have in store for me. The stressful thing about these days is that 
my emails just don't stop. <sighs> just don't stop at all. And I try to not like check them too often through the day because I just can't get to them, but I can start kind of chipping away at them. Jobs to do that the twins are down for a nap. Tidy this up a little bit, although it's going to get like destroyed again when they get up. So what's the point? <laughs> But I don't know, I just like having a tidy space. It just makes me feel less stressed out. Tidy up the kitchen from lunch because I didn't get a chance to do that. Maybe make myself some lunch. I'm really bad at eating lunch. It's like a really bad habit of mine. So it needs to be something really quick and easy. On my Instagram, I shared a recipe that I make all the time, which is just using whatever meat, whatever stuff we have, um, and putting it together on keto crackers if you're not following me on instagram make sure you come over and check me out i have lots of keto recipes low carb recipes and kind of give daily updates on our life as well but i don't have i don't think any more canned tuna and i try not to have it too often i did cook up some corned beef the other day for dave because he wanted to have that for his lunch so i might make a world club recipe really quickly for the two of us so that we make sure that we have something because again the day just flies by and you're the last person that you think about kind of looking after okay let's see what i can get done just enough time to photograph a recipe this recipe there's a similar one on wild club but this is one that we've been talking about getting up and i had all of the ingredients ready to make it so i was able to photograph that and i just sat down to do emails and i can hear revy the thing about when they wake up from their naps is that sometimes they resettle themselves but she doesn't seem to be so i think that's it for work and I'm gonna have to wait until they're asleep. We've got one baby who's awake. I'm listening out for Rue, but while he still sleeps, hopefully he still sleeps for like a little bit of time, I'm gonna make the baby some afternoon tea. I'm still keeping an eye on my emails, trying not to focus on them too much. One thing that is changing this year is I have I'm building my team. We've got some amazing people who have joined the Wild Club Well Essentials team who are working across both of the companies, helping out with social media and just all sorts of things, which I'm so grateful for and I definitely, definitely need for a long time now. Hey, Gilly. I've just been doing it myself. Um, I have been slowly building my team, but a lot of the stuff I've just been doing myself. And I, yeah, I just can't, I can't, I can't maintain that anymore. I'm not going to be able to, yeah, I'll just burn out, <laughs> really. I know that I will burn out. So I'm super excited for things to change this year. Um, and our team members are starting next week. Next week. So this week I, is just like set up stuff for me. I have to like set up like logins and set up passwords and that kind of thing, um, which is all super fun stuff. Just like a little bit time consuming. We've got Rue Bear awake. Hi Rue. How did you sleep? You good sleeps. Two and a half hours. We've had afternoon tea. Rue's still, are you done? Ruby's made herself very busy here while I was getting afternoon tea ready. Uh -huh. You uh -huh. done? Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let me show you guys what I want to sort out this afternoon to kill some time with the babies. This here is our little Kmart haul. We went to Kmart the other day 
that's actually not came out. A few of these things have came out. We got some really cheap little pants and tops and shorts and that kind of thing for the twins to have for their nursery outfits. And I want to keep these separate. We added a little red dot onto the label so we know what is the for nursery. And I want to store them somewhere separate so that we can just grab out nursery clothes on the days that they're going to nursery. So that's what we're going to do this afternoon. I looked online and I found some hanging organizers that are on sale and I want to go and grab them because they're in stock. So I think they might work perfect and also bonus, it's going to buy us a little bit of time. So we're going to get the 20s in the car, go change them. got a moment they're distracted with the wiggles I hate that screen time you know <laughs> gives me this like little bits of freedom where I can sneak away but that's just the case I need to get our stroller in the car open up the doors and bring a baby out one at a time and then we can hit the road by the time we get back it'll be time for dinner I need to get the babies down quickly I need to get the babies down quickly so they can go to bed early and then I can get into work for the day. Okay. Oh, we've done it. We've made it to Bed Bath & Beyond, me and the babies, except we've got here and it's starting to rain. I've packed the stroller and I've packed the front pack and I'm just trying to decide what I should do. It's so hard because they're just at the stage where they're very like handsy with everything. So, yeah. stroller or the carrier. Let's try the carrier and see how we go. Hopefully, we can manage. Last stop, we're picking up Charlie from Kindy and then it's home for bedtime. Well, not bedtime, dinner, bath, all that stuff. I've got Rue in the front pack because he's heavier and then I can just hold on to Ruby. Okay, let's go get the other, the other baby, the fur baby. are just getting ready for bed and while they do that I'll turn this light on so you guys can see a bit better in here just popped into their nursery I got this which is the over the door storage thing which I want to test out to put their clothes for nursery in here just to make it really easy for Dave and I when we're dressing the twins in the morning we have the cutest little backpacks for the twins they're starting nursery this week. So we've got Rue and Ruby. They're so cute. I like the idea of that and I like the idea of being able to also hang up their bags too. So I have sweatshirts for the babies down here. Those are shorts and pants for Rue. Shorts and pants for Ruby. Tops for Rue. There's short sleeve and long sleeve. Short sleeve and long sleeve. So did I say that's for Rue? That's for Ruby. And then socks and we will just grab and go grab and go as needed because they're gonna do three days a week at nursery once they're up and running which is so crazy to think so crazy anyway i'm really looking forward to getting these babies down to bed Ooh. Ha! dinner's ready <laughs> dinner tonight Super simple, another recipe from Wild Club. This is just one of our steak salads. Um, what is the exact name of it? Hold on, let me tell you. Our garlic steak salad. <sighs> oh my gosh. I'm just wrecked, wrecked. But my working night is just beginning now at 8.20. Dave's out marathon training. I've got 
salad, LaCroix sparkling water, earpods are in because I'm going to listen to a podcast while I work and catch up on everything. It's, it is a juggle. It is a real juggle and it's a real challenge as well. I don't want to try to make it look like I have it figured out or it's easy for me because it's definitely not. It's like a, it's a struggle every single day. I'm so, 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 so grateful to be in the position that I'm in. A twin mum, I, we dreamed about starting a family and we didn't know if it was going to be possible for us. And I wouldn't swap that out for the world. But when you are self-employed, or say you've got like a side hustle or a dream or a hobby that you're working on growing into something, it's it's hard fitting that in alongside, you know, everything else that you've got going on. <laughs> and that's just the case. This year I have made a big decision to try to get help and outsource things, as many things as possible, because I just found that I was stretching myself way, way, way too thin. We have some really exciting things coming with Well Essentials. Like, I was counting up how many new products are launching like over the next few months. And honestly, you guys, it is, it's crazy. It's super exciting. These are products that we've been formulating and working on for so long. And I just, I know you're gonna love them. So I can't wait for them to be available. But again, it's just all time. And then with Well Club, Well Club is, my passion, I say it was my first baby. I created it because I just really wanted to help other people out there who were struggling with getting their health in check and finding something that works for them. And I really just wanna be able to dedicate more of myself back to Well Club and also be available in my DMs, on my Instagram to be able to reply to people. Yeah, there's just a lot, there's a lot. And I never will be on top of it all, but this year if I can delegate tasks out to other people who can help me, then I can be present for the things like that and get back into it in a more kind of active way. So that's my plan. I don't know if that's something that you can do, if you can figure out what you can focus on and what can like wait. That was advice that my sister gave me when I was working. And I actually wanted to start my YouTube channel so many years ago from when I really started it, but I just didn't have the time with having my full-time job as well. And my sister's advice was just to focus on one thing, and she was so right. She's always right. Sarah is always right. I'll leave her channel linked below, by the way, if you're wanting to check out her videos, because she has goals, and I always learn so much from her. I'm so grateful to her. I'm rambling now, but I'm gonna finish my dinner, get into work, I so appreciate you watching. I hope, if anything, you felt like you aren't alone in watching this video. If you're juggling lots of different things, lots of balls are in the air, just know you're not alone. You're doing an amazing job. Don't be so hard on yourself. We're literally all just doing the best that we can. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. The support means the world to me. And if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss any videos coming very soon. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.